G'day guys, uh, Shaky Bones here. Uh, this is just a quick video on how you can easily download, mod and manage your Arma 3 add-ons using a brilliant program called Arma 3 Sync. Um, unless you're already using a program like Arma 3 Sync or even Play With 6, you're probably using Steam to download your add-ons and enabling and disabling your add-ons in the actual game, uh, requiring you to restart the game each and every time you want to change them. Uh, this becomes time consuming and of course inefficient, uh, hence I use this program called Arma 3 Sync. Uh, first thing I want you to do is head to a website called Armaholic. Uh, don't worry, the link is in the description. Uh, and then head to uh, this page here, which has the download for Armor 3 Sync. Uh, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, uh, you may have some different ads than this, but all the way down to the bottom, these are the two links here that you're interested in. Uh, simply click on one of these links here and you should get a pop-up like this. Now, Armour 3 Sync does sometimes reload. Just simply scroll down to the bottom of the of the page and um, read, uh, re-click on the link. Uh, once you click on Save File, it's a different experience for every, uh, every um, internet browser. Uh, simply then run the program, install it as usual, as you would any other program. Make sure you read the agreement uh, and you know exactly where you're installing the, installing the program. Uh, now, of course, I've already installed it, so I won't do that again. Uh, now, once you've installed the program, you'll basically get so something along the lines like this. And it'll look something like this. Uh, now, initially, you won't have anything down the available add-on side, and you certainly won't have anything in the groups. Uh, the first page that's going to pop up is uh, asking you to point in the direction of where your Armour 3 executable file. Now for 99% of people you probably have installed it under local disk program files 86 steam steam apps common Armour 3 and this is the file here that you're specifically looking for the Armour 3 application. Once you've uh, directed it to that there to the correct exe you will see it down here uh, under your launcher options tab. Now staying on this tab, these, this is the first uh, set of parameters we're going to want to change. Now everything does look relatively complicated at first, uh, but don't worry once you actually have a play around with it and see how it works, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, so first thing to do is to select the profile that you probably want to use 90% of the time. Uh, for me, I only have the one which is shaky bones. Uh, then simply click on no file patching. This helps prevent uh, Armour from trying to update itself uh, while the game is running. Now if you know all the specs and you know the launcher details, details with, uh, with these here, go, go right ahead if you're already running these. Um, I personally don't use them, I find they actually do absolutely no difference to my frame rate whatsoever. Uh, but what you do want to do is click on the no splash screen, the default world empty and no logs. What these three things do is just simply make armor launch a lot faster. It drops out all the Bohemia Interactive and the Physics X drop pages and stuff like that that you sort of have to watch every single time you want to do it, uh, every time you want to use, uh, play the game. Then go up here, click on the add-ons tab here. Now, uh, oh sorry, click on the add-on options tab. Now what uh, you're going to want to do here is point uh, Armour 3 Sync to where all your mods are installed. Now this is one of the uh, biggest positives of this program is you don't actually have to install your mods in the same directory or even in the same drive as your Armour 3. So if you're like me, you actually run Armour 3 Sync uh, sorry, you actually run Armour 3 on a SSD, uh, and then I actually install my add-ons um, on a separate uh, regular hard drive because they only need to be uh, loaded once once the game starts. Uh, so this pr uh, helps me free up uh, memory on my SSD. Now, of course, if you only have the one drive, um, but feel free just to install your mods uh, in your Armour 3 uh, My Documents folder or your Armour 3 uh, folder. Anyway. Um, Moving right along, simply to point Armour 3 Sync to your uh, add-ons directory, simply click on this blue plus. Uh, go to wherever your mods are installed. For me, it's games, Armour 3, where they all are here. Simply click open. Uh, and then your directory shall appear here. Now, if that directory does contain any mods the, uh, or add-ons, the add-ons will appear uh, down here, uh, as you can see here. Um, once you've done that, you've pointed it to all the directories that you have your add-ons, simply come to this page here. Now by this stage, your add-ons side will actually have populated, um, but this side will have nothing on it. 
So what you want to do now is create some groups in which to launch Armor 3 with spe the specific add-ons that you want to run. So if you have a clan group, for example, simply right-click here and then click Add Group. And then you can simply type in Clan Games. In which case, we have clan games here with nothing in them. So then you can simply go through and go, okay, then, well, we use JSRS. I can put JSRS in there. Uh, we use mocap. Uh, we use um, cup. And we use uh, CBA, if I can find that. Now, what you can also do is simply click on the on one you like, so you use all the HLC weapons. Uh, you can click on the first one, scroll down to wherever you want, hold shift, click on that one there, simply drag it over, and then drag all of them across. Now, if you're going to play custom games uh, with your clan or whatever else, you can individually select them, or if you want to be faster, you can simply click one, and then click start game, and the game will launch with those specific mods entailed. Now, if I come back out of the game and I want to play Armageddon, I can just simply click on the Armageddon tab, which of course then launches the Armageddon uh, files that I run, Blast Core, uh, the Armageddon mod, FPS Counter, JSRS, etc. Just simply click Start Game after that. And then Armor 3 will load. So as you can see already, uh, I have straight away didn't have to go through the Bohemia Interactive logos, didn't have to go through the quick start, uh, and the world loads without any musical world. This just helps things speed up very, very quickly. So immediately you can see already uh, I, st I still had the Armageddon folder selected, and you can see my Armageddon mods are already clicked, already selected. Uh, so that's about it guys really, um, have a play around with the mod, uh, with the program, uh, and find out what best work for you. Uh, if you like this video, click like, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Thanks very much, and uh, good luck with the program, and happy gaming.